So the first speaker of the night, it will be Jorge Alba. Jorge will be completing the requirement for presentation mastery level two with a five to seven minute speech on the importance of the non-verbal communications when making a presentation. He will be uh, talking about how non-verbal communication is so important that can damage or enhance your message. So with this, I am going to introduce Jorge Alba as the first speaker of the night to present his importance of non-verbal communication speech. Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests. When you present a speech, effective body language is an essential role in building credibility and connection with your listeners. Appropriate gestures focus your audience in you and in your message. Body language is non-verbal, expression of emotions, feelings, and ideas. There are six elements of body language. Your posture, your movement, your position, gestures, eye contact, and facial expressions. And all of them contribute to convey the message that you have with your audience. So how many of you have used body language when you participate or when you prepare a speech? By the show of hand, let me know how many of you have included in your speech and in your message. So I see that all of you understand how important body language is. So I'm going to briefly explain those six points that I mentioned before. Postures is the first one. When you carry yourself in a speaker or a communication, you bring your visual message to the audience. So along with the word message, message, you bring your visual, you bring a message. Proper postures help you better deliver because if you can breathe better and you can project your voice to your audience, you can bring that measure more clear. You have to hold your head up, your chin is slightly back, your shoulders flat, your chest open, and your stomach flat so you can breathe. Your postures reflect your attitude at your level of confidence. Along with posture, we have position. You should feel comfortable and relaxed during your speech. You always have to deliver a natural feeling. And how you do that? By practicing. You have to practice in front of a mirror, you have to practice with a frame, you have to practice with a camera. And you have to do it until you feel that your posture are delivering the message that you want to deliver to your audience. The third one is movement. You don't want to be standing up, giving the speech like you were in a corner. That's very boring. And it's going to distract the public. You have to add energy with some movement. Your presentation help giving more confidence of what you are talking about. So you have to change your position. You have to, if you are in a lecture, you have to step out of the lecture. You don't have to be hiding behind the lecture like that. You have to be open to the public. So, but constant motion or exaggerated motion could be also distracting and annoying. So you have to pace yourself and you have to determine what is the correct amount of movement for the message. And you can use it to stretch your message. Like if you step forward, Taking a step forward, you can actually bring an important point and make sure that the public understand that it's important. You can take a step back to give them time to think about an idea. Be quiet. Or if you are going from one topic to the next, you can do some slight movement. Take a pause, give them a minute. Let the audience know that you are going to change topics. So standing in front of the lecture, is much better than being behind, kind of hiding behind the lecture because that brings confidence to the public. So you have to combine stillness with verbal pauses and with movements. Now, number four, gestures. It's very hard to do gestures the correct way, but you have to practice. And your, your gesture has to reflect what you are talking about. If you are talking about a very happy topic, 
you don't want to have a very dry expression or very sad expression. Or the opposite, if you are talking about something that is very sad and serious, you don't even have to have a wide smile like, like you are enjoying the topic when it's something serious. So your gestures in your face, in your hands, have to match the topic you are talking about. But you have to make sure that your unconscious gesture doesn't dynamite your speech. Your, whether it's intentional or unintentional, your gesture has to follow the rhythm of the speech. And there are four specific gestures that you have to account for. Descriptive, they describe position, location, or anything tactical. Empathetic gestures, most of the time bring emotions. So just the gestures, they are used to symbolize emotions. Like you can touch your heart to make sure that it's something important, open your palms to open to the public. And finally, the fourth one, prompting gestures. Like when I start the meeting tonight, that I say by the show of hands, how many of you know the importance of nonverbal communication? So there is also ineffective gestures that will damage your speech, will damage your message. So you have to be aware of them and you have to avoid them. Like grabbing to the lecture or to the desk what you are talking about, or like biting your lips, or like uh, fidgeting with your clothes or distracting with a pen or uh, any object in your hands, because that is going to distract the people away from your message. So you have to be careful to avoid those two. Now, number five, which I consider the most important one is eye contact. Now, uh, you are going to tell me, how do you do eye contact in a virtual presentation with that? You have to look at the camera. You have to learn to use the camera like if you are looking at the people. Now. In a normal speech, when you, have, you are in front of your audience, you have to actually make contact one-to-one -one with the different people in the room, and you have to address them. Now, sometimes, and you will notice that when you are making some members of your audience uncomfortable with the eye contact, in that case, you have to easily move to the next person or to the next person. But you have to hold eye contact with your audience at all the time. And the way you do it in a virtual presentation is through the camera. You cannot be presenting like this and talking, pointing here, here and there where you are not related to the camera because people are going to get bored. They are going to lose completely the, the topic of the conversation. And finally, five facial expressions. I mentioned gestures, that's important. But how you move your face is very important. How you move your eyes is very, very, very important. So. Too much body language is also bad, but not enough body language is not good. So I dare you to include effective body language as part of your next speech. It will make a big difference in your presentation, in how you deliver your topic, and how you connect with your audience. Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmasters.